So now we actually want to do a live demo of the Cisco Configuration Professional that we have installed in our lab environment. I want to start off. We have Cisco Configuration Professional. And here we're going to run it as administrator because we're in a Windows 7 environment. It's in the process of loading. You can see Java, just as we've mentioned before. So we have a variety of different parts and hosts that are already defined. And this is the one we're actually interested in for our lab. So what we want to do, click OK. And the first step is to highlight the one you want and do Discover. This sometimes can take a little bit. Notice it's already talking about the security certificate. In this case, we know it's in our lab environment. Notice here it's already identified as a secure connection. It knows the router host name, which tells you that the process is actually succeeding. Once this becomes discovered, we'll actually be able to make use of some of the rest of these functions because then it will have loaded the configuration from the device into the GUI here, just as we saw with ASDM a few moments ago. Notice now it says discovered. So we can actually now go into different aspects of this. For instance, if we just wanted to monitor the device, notice we have router monitoring. So you have your memory usage, your CPU usage. Notice the firewall hasn't been configured. All sorts of different major aspects of the device itself. Interface status. Here we could actually retrieve data. Things to monitor. Logging. Here it's actually showing hosts for logging. So we could actually go through a lot of different aspects of this. This is just from the monitoring perspective. Firewall log application security log. Here we actually can go into our configuration. Here it's actually talking about creating connections, but since it's already here and configured, you can actually see we have our sub interfaces, the status, what type they are. We could easily change different connections. Notice here you have edit. Here we could create all sorts of different aspects since this is, happens to be a tunnel interface. NAT, applications, and so forth. You have specific router aspects, router options. This is just going to give us things like the host name and things like that. Time configurations. Here we actually have a, an NTP server defined, current date and time. In this case, it's NTP. Access. We talked about role-based access before. Remember, 15 is the privileged mode immediately. But there are actually a number of different things that can be done here. For instance, if you want to configure an access list, you can create object groups very similar to what we talked about in the ASDM, static and dynamic routing. Here it's going to show EIGRP because that's what we have running. See, enabled. Since this is a security course, let's look at different things. We have a firewall. Notice here. This is one of the things that's important to understand about the Cisco Configuration Professional. It actually creates, using wizards, a various amount of entries. So for instance, if we just wanted to be able to create a basic firewall, launch this task. Basic Firewall Configuration Wizard. Default policies, block port misuse, deny traffic from outside to inside zones. We'll talk about zone-based firewall later. But for instance, we could say, what are inside and outside? Like for instance, here we have these are our trusted interfaces because they're inside the network. This goes outwards. And of course, we want to be able to use security professional from outside interfaces. And there's all sorts of things here. We'll just cancel out of this, but you can actually see that these will actually take you through a number of different tasks that really simplify the configuration of certain features on the router. In this case, it happened to be the firewall could also set up a site-to-site -site VPN. Again, another task that it could step us through. So Cisco Security is simplified greatly by use of the Cisco Configuration Professional. You can actually do software updates on these as well, and just really simplifies a lot of different things with relation to configuration. You can actually see what's available in the flash. So while this certainly is not an exhaustive treatment of Cisco Configuration Professional, it gives you a flavor of how the different aspects of the device can be managed using this particular graphical user interface.